In the last video, I talked about how an attackers can use social engineering technique to trick you into giving them permissions to view your camera, listen to your microphone, check out your geolocation, and so much more scary stuff. And if you want to watch that video, it is in the top right corner of my screen. However, something insane happened on that video, and honestly, I don't know, I don't even know what to say and what to think, but because John Hammond himself commented this second time on my channel, which makes me believe that he might be a subscriber, although I'm not 100% certain because his subscriptions are hidden, and so are mine too, that's okay, but I don't know, it's just a speculation that he might have subscribed on my channel, so John, if you're watching this, which I hope you are, please comment down below for everyone to see if you have subscribed, because I don't know. I might be pushing him a little too much, but hey, it's honestly, you have to understand me. It's honestly so crazy because I've been watching his channel and live overflow for from like when I was 16. Now I'm 20 and I've been into cybersecurity for a long time and seeing my dream come true. It's not really even a dream come true. It's just the fact that me getting recognized by a channel, which I've been watching for so many years, it's so thrilling. So yeah, thank you, John, for writing these two comments. And maybe if you want to learn hacking and check out my course, which is down in the description box below. So in one of my latest videos, I don't know which one, I talked about another social engineering tactic which goes basically like this. See this. It says here, save your backup codes. And you follow the instructions below to, you know, save these backup codes. You press Control S to save this page. You name this file MFA Backup Codes 2025.hta. And then after saving, you just open the file to confirm that the values and codes are stored properly. And here, these are the MFA backup codes. So let's follow the instructions. Let's click Control S on the keyboard. Before that, we obviously need to copy this right here. Or maybe not, maybe we can just sort it as this HTA extension because it's definitely going to be interesting. So instead of HTML, we just put HTA, click save, and boom, here is the save backup codes.hta. And as you can see, it also tells us after saving, open the file to confirm the codes are stored properly. So let's just do that. And boom, you just got hacked because currently we're calling ping to on the example.com. So what's what happened? Well, this is what happened. Let me show you the test.html. And this is the code that was executed. We called command.exe with a command ping example.com. So aka you just got hacked and we can do anything we want with your computer now as an attacker. Of course, use this video as an educational purposes only and also use this video as a knowledge spread to basically be aware of these issues because I doubt a lot of you know what even .hta is. Well, once you call control S, it basically tries to save this entire page in the .html format, which is fine. And if you do that, you're pretty much good to go because it will just open it within your browser. However, HTA extension is a bit of an evil one because if we go over here and go check out the downloads, we can see that this right here in the properties is an HTML application. So this exists on the Windows. I'm not quite 100% certain how is this even useful and why it exists in the first place, but I guess it's some old things and probably leaving this out would break somehow the operating system and it's probably just complicated, but anyways. So HTA stands for HTML application, but I also found something else interesting. I found another type of a program which can be definitely exploited and definitely used in social engineering attacks, which is called compiled HTML help file here in the description. And right click on it, we can see that this is a compiled HTML help file or .chm. Now, this is a very interesting topic to talk about because it's definitely going to be unknown to some of you. And it's definitely going to be useful if an attacker wants to use this within a social engineering attack because they might trick you into basically doing the exact same except instead of control S because you can do that on this one. You have to compile this. As you can see, it says compiled. You basically need to download it. But if you download it, it can say, oh, you're downloading actually the MFA backup codes. And once you download them, please open that file to see whether they exist. And you were like, okay. This is not an executable. This is not a screensaver file. This is not HTA even. I might know about it. And this is a compiled HTML help file. It is a compiled HTML help file. You see help HTML, you're like, even if you're technical, even if you're like an expert, you might be thinking, oh, it's fine. And then you double click on it. And it says security, window security warning. <laughs> it says an active X control on this page might be unsafe to interact with other parts of the page. Do you want to allow this interaction? And you might click no. 
and you're like an error occurred and you're like okay cool doesn't matter but on the page you might tell you if you don't see anything please follow because it's a problem if you don't see anything you must see something and then you're like okay what if i click yes i mean active s con active x control it doesn't say malware or anything it doesn't say anything bad so why if i just click yeah boom there we go ping example.com just just like that i think there's a way to do it without it because this is the payload.html it, it, it this it, it looks it looks definitely amateur level but we can probably hide this even further maybe with some tampering but i don't know i've i've, I've just discovered this myself actually so i decided to make a video on it but apparently these chm file also if you go into properties have a little checkbox which might tell you block unblock because if you download them from the internet windows might just block its functionality because it's definitely being used in social engineering attacks that's all i was able to find online about them but this is not simple as open this up in for example vs code because if you open this up in the visual studio code it's just going to be looking very messy as you can see it is similar to an executable but not really and of course, I'm not going to show you how to compile this because it's definitely going to be used further on as a social engineering tactic. But again, it's probably going to be breaking, the, of course, the YouTube rules. So I'm not going to show you anything about it. So yeah, this is a just little quick video about social engineering and how stuff works. And this one is also very simple because you can basically embed shellcode within a simple test.html file, which is being rendered online. And once you click control S and save this as an HTA file, it can execute ping example.com. And this is definitely saved on the page itself, because if I'll open the console, you can see, hey, ActiveX object is not defined because browser doesn't understand this API. However, once you run it, it, it gets executed. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.